Hello everyone, my name is Sermo11, and today I will be reviewing Monster Tail for Nintendo DS. This game is by Dream Rift. Now, originally in this review I was going to provide images of the game, but due to my current situation I don't really think that's a good idea for the channel or for the restrictions on my channel. So, um, uh, you can definitely look up some gameplay on YouTube if you don't really like listening to audio, but that's all I can pro provide right now. And I guess YouTube doesn't really like reviews showing images unless you have this huge production of a review. And I just don't really have the program, and no one can really tell me the program to do the review. But anyway, moving on. Monster Tail is a video game that stars Ellie. That's right, the main character is a girl. <laughs> That's a shocker. It's even weirder that um, one of the characters in the game actually calls her a babe. Basically, Ellie discovers an egg one day, and she gets a pet named Chomp. They go out on an adventure for Ellie to return to the human world, and for Chomp to find his mother. But the world also um, has other children in it who have taken over and rule kingdoms with the power of their own monsters. This group of people is known as the Kid Kings. Ellie has to fight the Kid Kings to restore control in this monster world. Originally, this review was going to be a rant. When I first started the game, it it was just... I got stuck at some point, and I just gave up. It, uh, I'll just keep going. Um, there's it's, it's a good thing I finished the game. It starts off pretty easy, but it gets harder. The game doesn't get extremely hard, but the difficulty increases to a level where a young child might possibly have trouble. I'll get into why I had trouble with the game later. Through battle, you gain experience and Chomp unlocks new forms, attacks, and traits. You also get items which can be purchased from Jinx in the shop. Um, what I'm saying is you get items in the you can get items through battle and you can buy items in a shop. Only three of the bosses really gave me trouble. There's five bosses in total. I'm not really sure if I was the target audience in this game for this game, but the game was pretty easy. It got harder at the end, as I said before, but still, it was a pretty easy game. Chomp progresses as the, as the game goes on. My main problem with Chomp's forms is that the fact that you have to switch to other forms or form trees just to evolve him. I'm not sure if I missed this because I was blazing through the game in the beginning or it just wasn't really explained correctly. The game has a map, but it isn't it, it isn't on the main bottom screen which is a big problem because the map the map is something you'll need. Chomp switches between the top and bottom screens via your control. Here comes the biggest annoyance about the game. If Chomp was using, it, using an item on the bottom screen and you tried to switch forms it would say Chomp is currently busy. This happened a lot. If he was fighting a monster this would come up. Just remove this from the game if you make a sequel. Please Dream Rift, please. Ellie gains abilities as the game goes on, but I wish they were all available from the start. This is a platformer. Sometimes you play games like this for a while, so I would have liked to actually discover these on my own and have the game tell me when I actually need them. The game tells you when you have the game tells you when you um, unlock these abilities, but I'd like to learn the powers of my character on my own. I would rather explore with Ellie and be like, oh, I can do a jump and blast at the same time. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I just don't understand why we had to unlock the abil abilities. Um, it was some kind of um, shrine or something you walk onto, and then you gain the ability throughout the game. There are different uh, things like this. The second annoyance with the game is the map. I like the fact that the that it tells you where to go, but some of the places weren't actually on the map unless you discovered them. It's kind of confusing to explain. The game's map should be be able to be put on the um the bottom screen. Seriously, this is a big annoyance. The map the map appears when you press start, but it can't stay there. In a platformer, maps are your best friend. This game isn't your best friend. Make it so we can switch with the bottom screen at any time. I feel like this video game has multiple video game franchises combined into one. I can see subtle hints of Mega Man, Pokemon, and even Metroid, but that's just what I noticed. Did you notice any more if you uh, played this game? I'm pretty sure this game will get a sequel if it's sold enough. I got this game on sale and I'd say it's worth the sale price, but I wouldn't pay a lot for this. Just because of the fact that it's, it's, it's an easy game. 
if there were um, more bosses, more levels, and the difficulty was at a higher level, I can definitely be, I can definitely say I would pay the full. Um, I think the normal price for a D DS retail game is thirty dollars, so I would pay thirty dollars for it. I think I got this for it was either between twelve and fifteen. Um, it was pretty cheap. For a sequel, I'd like to see more monsters like Chomp and more art like at the end of the game. I'm a big art nut and I love seeing art in video games. I'd prefer a leveling system for Chomp's forms. Basically, you have to use a specific item or items to unlock more forms. You have to manually switch forms so that you can unlock more. It took me a while to notice this and I didn't unlock all of them by the end of the game, which is a problem for me because I like to unlock everything in a video game. Some of Chomp's skills are useless. I'm surprised the creator of the testers found the Chain Chomp ability to even be useful. I stuck with two abilities towards the end of the game. Um, the skills are split into three types, Earth, Water, and Fire. My favorites were Drillum Mister and Hunter. Even though they are both water abilities, I like them because they actually hit the monsters. Some of the um, forms don't really even hit, don't hit the monsters. That's why I want more control over Chomp. Chomp's forms actually have five types, from what I can tell: fire, earth, water, dark, and light. That's all I noticed, and I didn't unlock all the forms, so maybe there's even more. I wish we had more control over Chomp. I like the, I'd love to tell him to start attacking enemies right away. You can do that with his skills, but sometimes I just need a regular attack. I would prefer, you know, just like um, have control over Chomp, be like punch this enemy, and that's um, that's not a skill. That's just a. I just want a regular attack. I would prefer to have a regular attack, um, a, reg a regular attack line for Chomp, such as Ellie has regular attacks. Um, there are two bars at the bottom of the screen. One is for Chomp's. One is for Chomp, which serves as its health and attack power. It's the same bar. I'm not really sure if this is a smart decision or a dumb one. I, I really think he needs two bars. I, re I relied on Chomp's power a lot and even used him as a shield. It would be cool if, um, it would be really cool if these were two bars because you're getting attacked and you're losing your energy as well. So if you're getting constantly attacked, all your energy is gone. And sometimes Ellie isn't good enough to fight all these enemies. Chomp, Chomp will be needed in this game but that's my review it should be a quick experience for uh, it should be a quick it should be a quick experience for experienced gamers for younger kids it might take you a while overall I'd give Monster Tell an 8 out of 10 if you played this game tell me what are your thoughts on it you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter below please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out